My name is Xanthu Dixon, and I had the perfect life with the perfect home. It even had a picket fence. I had the perfect parents. My dad, Carson Dixon, now he was a hardworking businessman. But no matter how hard I try, I can't remember what type of business he did. What I did know is that he provided for the fam. Boy, did he love my mom. Her name is Megan Dixon. She's a stay-at-home mom and wife. She made the best meals. She made sure our clothes were clean and the house stayed tidy. She was raised to believe that a woman is meant to stay at home and care for the family. So, when she had me and my twin sister Prim, she taught us the same thing. She taught us how to clean and make the best meals, but above all, to become the best wife and mother. Me and my sister has always been super close. We told each other everything, including what we truly wanted to be in the future. Even though our mom taught us the proper woman needs to marry and stay at home, care for the family. Well, like her. But we wanted more. Prim wanted to be a famous fashion designer. But me? I wanted to be a politician. But that was just childish dreaming. To me, at least. Because what I truly wanted was to make my mom proud of me. And so, like the perfect girl, I fell in love with the perfect person in high school, Mateo. He was the most popular football player in school. He was so sweet, understanding, and loving. We were madly in love. We had our whole life planned out. We wanted to get married right out of high school and have a big, happy family. He even wanted me to follow my dreams and become a politician. He was perfect. <laughs> Heck, we were perfect. My life could not get any better than this. Or so I thought. Because a few days before school finished, I got a text message from Mateo saying he no longer wanted to date me. I tried and tried all weekend to get in touch with him. I even left voice messages, hoping to get some type of response. But I didn't, and my heart shattered. So I planned on Monday looking for him to see what happened. Why did he break it off? I instantly regretted it. Because I found him in the hallway, kissing my twin sister Prim. I couldn't believe my eyes. I was completely devastated. I left school and waited for Prim to come home. Numb, hurt, confused, and shattered. I confronted Prim about seeing her and Mateo kissing in the hallway. She looked completely shocked that I was even mad. She said it wasn't like that, and she said that Mateo kissed her, and she pushed him away, shocked that he would even do that to me. She said she was truly sorry. I was perfect. Where did it all go wrong? It hurt too much to stay home, so I decided to go to college. Because of my perfect grades, I was able to graduate high school early, promising my mom that I would settle down soon. I just needed to find me first. At first, she did not like my decision. But then dad helped me talk her into it by telling her I could get more opportunities in life this way and possibly finding a great man who will have a career and will be able to support, love, and care for me. Oh boy, that man sure knows my mom because it worked. In the end, she said yes and supported me too. Soon after starting university, I met Christian. He was in his last year and planning to become a scientist. He was funny, cute, charming, so kind. So we went out to get some drinks so that we could get to know each other a little better. And it went perfectly. He was a complete gentleman. I think I'm in love. He waited for my 18th birthday to give me the best gift. It was a rainy night right outside our dorm rooms. He went down on one knee and asked me to marry him. I obviously said yes. Yep, I am definitely in love. A few weeks later, we eloped at the beach. It was quiet, peaceful, so romantic. No one knew it was happening. Things were moving super fast but we knew that our love was strong and real. Plus, things were, well, perfect. 
So we came to the agreement that I should do what my mom wanted of me, be a stay-at-home wife, and hopefully soon a mom. So together we moved back to Willow Creek, where my dad bought us our very first home. Excited to be home, after four years, me and Christian went to my parents' house for dinner. Sitting at the dining room table, they caught me up on everything I missed. Then, Mom told me that Prim got married a few years ago. I was so hurt. How was I not invited? I mean, especially since we talked almost every day. She never mentioned that she was in a relationship, much less married. Well, later that day, I was setting the table for dinner and there was a knock on the door. It was Prim. Surprised and happy to see my twin after four years, I immediately hugged her. We even did our secret handshake. But all that happiness I felt moments ago disappeared when I see Mateo standing behind Prim. Confused, I pulled Prim to the side and asked her what was going on. Why was Mateo here? She explained that after I left, Mateo came over to see me. She told him that I moved away to university. But when she told him that I was seeing someone, well, one thing led to another, and they got married. She said it was a private wedding, and she didn't tell me because she was afraid of how I would react. I couldn't believe it. But being the perfect person I am, I gave Prim the benefit of the doubt and not let a man ruin our relationship again. I need to move on. Anyways, I'm happy. I'm married. My life is finally perfect. Right? And this is where my story begins. Hello, my beautiful people. My name is Nathi, and I hope you enjoyed that intro. If you haven't noticed by now, I am starting a new challenge. I'm super excited for this. This is the Crybaby Wims Legacy Challenge. And as you can tell by the intro, this challenge is full of drama. And I am so here for it. Now, don't forget to help a girl out and hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, and that thumbs up. Boy, that intro was hard to create. But I did enjoy doing it. Not gonna lie, it did take me almost about two weeks to perfect, but don't worry, I did not forget about the 100 baby or the not so berry. I just wanted to try something new. I have done both those challenge on my Twitch previously. I'm still doing it, uh, but I just needed a refresh. But enough of me blabbering. Let's just go ahead and take a look at our first gen. This is Xanthi Delgado. She used to be Xanthi Dixon, but as you know, she got married to Christian. She is so pretty. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and before I jump in and show you her outfits and show you Christian, let's just look at the rules. Uh, I will leave them in the description box below so that if you guys want to play it or you want to just follow along, it'll be down there for you to click on. Uh, the, now, this challenge was created by Dryad. I'm hoping I say her name right. If I did butcher it, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so her aspiration has to be successful lineage, which I did. Um, she Her career is she can't have one at first until she's an adult. Once she turns into an adult, she can become a politician. Now, her traits are... Supposed to be perfectionist, paranoid, and family-oriented, but I don't have all the packs. So I replaced paranoid with erratic. But she does have the perfectionist, family-oriented, and erratic. And then she also has neat, which she did that on her own. And good. Okay. Now for the rules, it says, have a high school sweetheart you start on bad terms with. Check. Have a very caring spouse who you are madly in love with. <laughs> Check. Have a perfect white picket fence home with your spouse. Did that. So now, what I didn't do yet. <laughs> Slowly rebuild a relationship with your ex. Uh-oh. Start hooking up with your ex and one of you gets pregnant. Raise the child under your roof. Have three more children with your spouse. Then you got to divorce your spouse as an adult 
and take all the children, stop being a stay-at-home parent and join the politician career, and then you have to master your aspiration, and last but certainly not least, will you continue seeing your ex? Ooh, told you, lots and lots of drama, but I'm living for it. All right, so this is Xanthi. Let's go ahead and look at her outfits. All right, so this is her everyday one. She has one tattoo, and we'll get into it a little bit more later on in the episodes, explaining why she has that tattoo. <laughs> All right, and then we have two. A lot of yellow and whites in there. And then three, and then we have our formal wear one. Former wear two is actually her wedding dress. She was absolutely stunning. And then former wear three. Then we have her athletic wear, her sleep wear, party wear. I'm not sure if I really like the party wear. I'm probably going to end up changing it, but it's okay. I plan on, you know, as we go on changing her outfits, her hair, all that fun stuff. Then you have her swimwear, her hot weather wear, one, two, and three. And then you have cold weather, one and two. Also, I just downloaded um, I just downloaded a reshade for my game. And I'm beating myself up a ton because I didn't do this sooner. I love how my game looks now. Um, this reshade is by I'm Kegs. And not only is this reshade awesome, but their videos are awesome amazing <laughs> i love their videos shout out to them okay but in love in love i love this reshade all right now christian this is our christian let's go ahead and look at his everyday this that's his athletic so this is christian new cutie all right and he is a nerd brain they met in college so fitting <laughs> he's ambitious he's a active he's a dance machine romantic and self-assured he's also a scientist and because he went to college and graduated college he is higher up on his scientist career so <laughs> there's that oh i also have the slider mod so she's so much shorter than her husband christian it's fine, though, because I think it's adorable, even though I don't think it's going to be adorable when I try to get them to kiss and their lips just don't match up, but it's fine. <laughs> All right, let's just go ahead and get into the game. I am not planning on doing any gameplay on this video. That would be for the next time. Right now, it's just an intro to, the, obviously, the introduction, the storyline intro, and the introdu introducing you to Xanthi and her husband. I may even throw her sister and her ex-boyfriend Mateo into cast so that you guys can get a up close look on them all right let's get into it all right you guys this is the map I'm currently doing my own little save so I'm slowly but surely remaking the worlds and I'm starting with Willow Creek I'm I already did these houses I did that house I gotta redo the BFF family house, but, and I also did that one, but I'm planning on remaking them all, but slowly, <laughs> but right now we are in Willow Creek. This is where Xanthi lives, <clears throat> and then her sister Prim lives here with Mateo, and then her parents' house is right here, so they're literally <laughs> right next door to each other. I think I thought it was adorable. I mean, in a way. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and look at Xanthi's house. And of course, it's nighttime. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be, right? <laughs> but this is Xanthi's house. Over here, we have Prim's house. <laughs> and then right there is Mom and Dad's house. Let's see if I could get these controls correctly. <laughs> So when you first walk in, we have over here on this side, you can put your purse and shoes away. We have our wedding picture right there. 
on this side you can hang your purse you got your umbrella stand and then over here is the kitchen small but cute you got the dining room table over here and then over here on this side is our living room and then you have your sitting area over here as well if you want cute 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 and then through these doors oh well there's our wedding picture and another one and another one <laughs> We have our laundry room here, small but cute. And then we have us, our downstairs bathroom. We only have one bathroom for now. I don't think it's smart that I didn't put a bathtub, but it's okay. <laughs> we will have room to build, but this is the bathroom. As you can see, everything is yellow. Then we can go upstairs. Once you come upstairs through these doors, you have her room. Mr. and Mrs. Great. I didn't put wallpaper on there. It's fine. I will paint that and that. And then you have a bunch of empty rooms, you know, spare rooms. And then you have another empty room through these doors. And through this door, <laughs> there's Xanthi and Christian, but this is the workout room. Hence why Christian was wearing his workout outfit in Cass. <laughs> and then this room is the nursery. So I decided on purple because, you know, it's not gender specific. So... Yeah, they're super excited to start their family. They both want a big, happy family. So we have the boxes here ready for them to unpack. You have the little ba bassinet over there, the changing table, the dresser, some little clothes hanging up on the wall. It's so cute. I really had fun doing this build. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but, yep, that's the floor plan. It's a little weird, but I'm... Never said that I was the best builder, <laughs> but I did have fun doing this. So yeah, that is Xanthi's house. Don't look at the back. There's no windows. <laughs> We're not going to look back there. <laughs> but yes, I am super excited. Let's go ahead and take a look at Prim. As you can see, this is on, under Xanthi and there's Christian. She has her best friend. Lana, her mom Megan, there's Prim, her another another one of her best friends, Serena, Carson, her dad, Mateo, her boyfriend, ex-boyfriend. As you can see, there's a lot of red there. And these people she met at uh university. <laughs> but let's go ahead and look a little closer at Prim. I'll be right back in cast. All right, here we are in cast. This is our beautiful twin sister, Prim. They don't look much like twins. She did a little bit of tweaking on her face and body, but it's fine. No judgment. <laughs> All right, so her aspiration is fabulously wealthy, of course. She's jealous, mean, hates children, materialistic, and self-assured. So this is our sister Prim. She is very pretty, though. And then we have our ex-boyfriend, Mateo Lopez. He is a renaissance sim. I didn't pick any of these out. <laughs> uh, he's outgoing, good, jealous, romantic, and family-oriented. Whoa. Okay, again, I repeat, I did not pick any of this. So she hates children, and he's family-oriented. Oh, Sims, you already know what gameplay we're doing, don't you? All right, so this is Mateo. A little up close on our high school lover football player. He is now a professional athlete, obviously, <laughs> right? All right. <laughs> so I'm not going to go into their outfits and whatever. I just wanted you guys to see a close-up on them. This, again, is Mateo. 
and our twin sister Prim. Okay, I'm not I'm not gonna ever get over this, but because this reshade is awesome. <laughs> Thank you, I am Kegs. I love it. Keegs. I'm Keegs. I believe that's how you say it. I'll have him linked on the description below too. <laughs> Alright, you guys. Again, I do hope you guys enjoyed this intro. I enjoyed doing it. Yes, it was a headache, but so much fun. I was able to get to know more of my Sims while doing it. Like, it's new to me. Like, I never really was able to get to know them before actually doing a challenge. And I actually love it. So, yeah, it's going to be extremely heartbreaking to do all the stuff that our beautiful little Xanthi here has to do. But we have to do what we got to do, right? <laughs> all right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed that intro, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. In the comments below, go ahead and leave what was your favorite part of the, of the intro. Or <laughs> what do you think our beautiful little Xanthi is about to do? Would she choose her ex in the end? Do you think her ex even deserves a second chance? I would like to know what you feel. Go ahead and leave those in the comments. I always read them. I always respond. And plus, I really enjoy reading your comments, your opinions, your thoughts. It makes me want to do the, the challenge more. So love you guys. See you guys in the next one.